Do you have the Badline client in Hypixel Skyblock and want to use the Dungeon mod to make your dungeon run so much easier? But when you open up the mods, you're left with a general sense of confusion. Well, you've come to the right place. My name is Bloom Tranquility, or Bloom TQ for short, and this is everything that the Badline client offers for the dungeons in Hypixel Skyblock. Let's start off by accessing the mods first. From settings to mods, and what we're going to be looking into is Skyblock. One of the big aspects of it is the dungeon map. You won't see me in a run without it on. Normally, whenever you hold the map, you'd have to look down to see where you're at. So with a map, I'm going to have it as my primary map. You can always have a secondary map enabled as well. I personally don't see the point in it, but hey, if it fits your playstyle, keep it up. I have wanted to make this map bigger for a minute, so I am going to get it to where I prefer it to be. Right there seems good to me. I keep it on legal for obvious reasons. You can have it toggled to where your map turns off in the boss room and to where you can show tabs on your map. Whenever you go into a room, you see all this stuff in front of you. I'll go over it in a bit but an important aspect to it is outlining the withered door right there. You'll see way off in the distance there's a withered door down there that's outlined in red. Box wither doors, that enables it and disables it. It's red if you don't have the wither key, but it turns green if you do. Let me show you by getting the wither key. And there's the wither key. You'll see it's red. We pick it up and it turns green. The room clear time is an option you can have to whether you go into puzzles, trap rooms, blood rooms, or like mini boss rooms. It will tell you in your chat how long it took you to clear that. That is the first bit I wanted to show you over the map. Now the main bit is the secrets guide. The dungeon secrets display is whenever you enter a room, you will find somewhere, which should be your main objective in finding this if you don't know where it's at, is a trail of flame particles. That is your guide your most optimal route that Badline Client has to complete the dungeon and all of its secrets. Secret Guide Waypoints display essentially takes all the secrets in the room and adds a waypoint to it, just like the Waypoints mod. Now you can have a background color for it. This thing is just absolutely and completely customizable to your liking. Now I am familiar enough that I don't need the beams for it anymore. So I am going to now disable the Waypoint beams and have it just showing as simple waypoints. Now if you're watching this video and you're just starting out with this, I 110% recommend to keep them on. The more you go through dungeon floors, the more you can become familiar with this. And in your own time, if you don't like these just columns of light going all over your screen on some of the bigger rooms, you can disable it whenever you are more familiar with it. You can also toggle them to where you can't see them through the walls, so it is less spammy for you, but that is a personal choice for you to make. Of course, this enables the waypoint names and the fairy souls. If you've not gotten the dungeon fairy souls, hide the obtained fairy souls. You can always leave this on, and you'll never have to go back over a fairy soul that you've already collected. Now that is the majority of the useful information in your secrets guide. Now the solvers are what makes your runs more efficient. I've got just about everything you can enable on here enabled. Even outside of the dungeons, the experimentation solver I'll leave on. Because I'll usually do those on a daily. And I'll see if I can get as many of these on video. Here's the creeper room. Creeper room solver. There's a lot of customization you can do with it. You can change the thickness of the lines here. I like to leave them semi-thin. You can change the color of the lines. This one's simple. You just match the colors to the colors with preferably a bow to make it a lot easier. Once you match four colors, the puzzle will be solved. This room is the water board. Now on the waterboard solver, now on the waterboard solver, I will have all options enabled with this advanced one flow mode as long as you do it the way bad line client shows you to, you will finish the room and it happens fairly quickly. So, you will see here that there are all these levers. You'll need to do them in order as bad lion client says. Click, click, and it'll have you come here. You'll have two and a half seconds to click this one. It has you wait a bit longer. Click it again, and click it again. Solved. This room are your three weirdos. Weirdos Riddle Solver. These three will give you a riddle. Each of them says something different about what's in their chest and you have to determine if their chest has it or if somebody else's chest has it. This is how long it takes to do it with a bad line client. And done. Okay, this room is the Blaze Room. The Blaze Solver, simple mode, is what I prefer. All you do is click on the blaze that's highlighted. And just like that, you've completed the blaze room. 
I'm a little late at getting to it, but this is the trivia room. As you can see in chat, it asks how many fairy souls there are in the park. The correct answer is 11. Right click this block. And depending on what color you set it to, you can pretty much just chill out, wait for it to become clickable, and you're done. And just like that, this is the room. Now this next room is our ice maze. On the ground here, you can see little rendered lines of where you're meant to walk. This one's sweet and simple. It renders lines and you can change what color the lines are rendered to. I'll leave it on red and you can make the lines thicker depending on what you need. But in order to get across, you will have to walk across each of these blocks once in order to make it up to the next stage. If you walk across them again, the floor will break and you'll have to start over from the last level you completed. Now these floors are an absolute ripoff of a gym in Pokemon. Doesn't that sound familiar with something that's trending right now? Anyways, just like that, floor complete. Alright, so this room is the telepad room. The teleport pad solver. Now what we're looking for is the correct teleport pad. We won't find that out until a few runs into this. Your best bet is to keep on picking random ones. There's the correct one we see over there. It's highlighted. Now, whenever you step on a teleport pad, if it's highlighted in red, it means it is not going to take you to the right way. Now, if they're blank, that just means that they don't have enough information on them yet. You'll have to step into one to find out where you're going. One there, and this is the correct one. And room done. Step back into here. This room is the tic-tac-toe room, right here. It's sweet and simple. As soon as you step up to this, it'll prompt you what button to push. Or if you're familiar with tic-tac-toe, you don't even need this one enabled. This game of tic-tac-toe is impossible to win, so all you can do is simply defend. As long as you don't lose, you clear the room. And another mod you might want to consider would be the Profit Calculator. I leave it enabled because it gives me a fairly reliable estimate on how much I will make whenever I open up one of the boxes at the end of a dungeon run. And the last thing that I want to show you is the Dungeons mod. If you play in a team, you have options to make your teammates glow. This is also where the Livid Tracker is. Now, if you've kept up to date with my Road to Max series, you'll know exactly how valuable this is. You can display Livid's health and have it able to be toggled when you're only in the boss room. If you run parties, you can auto-accept reparty invites. One of the things that come enabled automatically are the dungeon block colors. Cracked stone bricks are usually what you place your TNT on. It highlights chests, trap chests, bats, tripwires, and dispensers, and you can customize the color for each of those. You can have a dungeon score calculator that will throw messages in your chat box whenever you reach a certain score, like 270 is needed for S rank and 300 is needed for S+. Plus. Now there are some things down here that I can't quite explain how well they work because I'm not unlocked floor 7 yet. Now following the bad line client, this is how it should look when clearing one of your dungeon rooms. I hope that in this video you were at least able to learn something, and I'd like to thank you for making it to the end of the video. If there's anything you want touched up on, drop it down in the comments below. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye